Chapter One: The River Bank. The mole had been working very hard all the morning. The mole had been working very hard all morning, spring cleaning his little home. Spring cleaning his little home. First with brooms, then with dusters. First with brooms, then with dusters. Then on ladders and steps and chairs, with a brush and a pail of whitewash. Then on ladders and steps and chairs, with a brush and a pail of whitewash, till he had dust in his throat and eyes. Till he had dust in his throat and eyes, and splashes of whitewash. All over his black fur, and splashes of whitewash all over his black fur, and an aching back and weary arms, and an aching back and weary arms. Spring was moving in the air above, and in the earth below and around him. Spring was moving in the air above and in the earth below him and around him, penetrating even his dark and lowly little house, penetrating even his dark and lowly little house, with its spirit of divine discontent and longing, with its spirit of divine discontent and longing. It was a small wonder then that he suddenly flung down his brush on the floor. It was a small wonder then that he suddenly flung down his brush on the floor, said "bother" and "oh blow," and also "hang." Spring cleaning. Said bother and oh blow and also hang spring cleaning, and bolted out of the house without even waiting to put on his coat, and bolted out of the house without even waiting to put on his coat. Something up above was calling him imperi imperiously. <laughs> Sorry. Imperiously, and he made for the steep little tunnel. Something up above was calling him imperiously, and he made for the steep little tunnel, which answered in his case to the gravelled carriage drive. Which answered in his case to the gravelled carriage drive. Owned by animals whose residence are near to the sun and air. Owned by animals whose residence are nearer to the sun and air. So he scraped and scratched and scrabbled and scrooged, and then he scrooged again and scrabbled and scratched and scraped. So he scraped and scratched and scrabbled and scrooged, and then he scrooged again and scrabbled and scratched and scraped, working busily with his little paws and muttering to himself. Working busily with his little paws and muttering to himself. Up we go. Up we go, till at last, pop. Up we go, up we go, till at last, pop! His snout came out into the sunlight, and he found himself rolling in the warm grass of a great meadow. His snout came out into the sunlight, and he found himself rolling in the warm grass of a great meadow. This is fine, he said to himself. This is fine, he said to himself. This is better than whitewashing. This is better than whitewashing. The sunshine struck hot on his fur. Soft breezes caressed his heated brow. 
The sunshine struck hot on his fur, soft breezes caressed his heated brow. And after the seclusion of the cellarage, he had lived in so long. And after the seclusion of the cellarage, he had lived in so long. The carol of happy birds fell on his dulled hearing, almost like a shout. The carol the carol of happy birds fell on his dulled hearing almost like a shout. Jumping off all his four legs at once in the joy of living and the delight of spring. Jumping off all his four legs at once in the joy of living and the delight of spring. Without its cleaning, he pursued his way across the meadow till he reached the hedge on the further side. Further side. Or farther side. Depends. Jumping off all his four legs at once in the joy of living and the delight of spring without its cleaning, he pursued his way across the meadow till he reached the hedge on the further side. Okay, again. The mole had been working very hard all the morning, spring cleaning his little home. First with brooms, then with dusters, then on ladders and steps and chairs, with a brush and a pail of whitewash, till he had dust in his throat and eyes and splashes of whitewash all over his black fur and an aching back and weary arms. Spring was moving in the air above and in the earth below and around him, penetrating even his dark and lowly little house with its spirit of divine discontent and longing. It was small wonder then that he suddenly flung down his brush on the floor, said bother and oh blow, and also hang spring cleaning, and bolted out of the house without even wa waiting to put on his coat. Sorry, and bolted out of the house without even waiting to put on his coat. Something up above was calling him imperiously. I'm not sure about that. Imperiously? And he made for the steep little tunnel which answered to his, in his case to the gravelled carriage drive owned by animals whose residences are nearer to the sun and air. So he scraped and scratched and scrabbled and scrooged, and then he scrooged again and scrabbled and scratched and scraped, working busily with his little paws and muttering to himself, Up we go, up we go, till at last, pop! His snout came out into the sunlight, and he found himself rolling in the warm grass of a great meadow. This is fine, he said to himself. This is better than whitewashing. The sunshine struck hot on his fur, soft breezes caressed his heated brow, and after the seclusion of the cellarage he had lived in so long, the carol of happy birds fell on his dulled hearing almost like a shout. Jumping off all his four legs at once, in the joy of living and the delight of spring, without his cleaning, he pursued his way across the meadow till he reached the hedge on the further side. Okay, well done. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please like the video. Bye.